We're doing a few more questions. Andre Ward, of course. Um, any update on him? Any time we can see him back in the ring at all? I expect to see him back very soon. And um, when he comes back, I expect to see him continue until he no longer fights. Um, I can't speak on the lit litigation aspect of things, but uh, I expect to see him back very soon. You know, he's considered the number two pound for pound fighter by a lot of people, just one last behind Floyd. When he comes back, Virgil, is he ready to go right into a big fight, or do you think even Andre Ward at this point needs some fine tuning before he could go into that? Well, the thing about Andre is he stays in shape here, right? He has no bad habits. He don't run the street, he don't drink, he doesn't party. He stays in condition. But uh, me having my way, he'll be brought back the right way. I think he, uh, I, don't, I don't think we have to justify getting what, I don't call any fight a tune-up fight, but I don't think we have to justify fighting uh, uh, a level of opponent that um, ensures that he's able to get back into a fight groove and maybe twice. So that's that's me talking. Andre will come back and fight the best. So. But that's, that's my job and decision to make. So I'm looking to ease him back in. I just want to get him in a groove and then uh, let him move on from there. And Virgil, you know, speaking of big fights with Andre Ward, one that people keep mentioning is him and Gennady Golovkin. They think Ward is the guy that can actually beat him and challenge him. Uh, what are your thoughts on that fight and just overall on Triple G as a fighter? Well, overall as a fighter, I think he's a tremendous fighter. I think he's proven that. I think his promotional company k2 has done a fantastic job moving him and exposing him to the boxing world um, they they have stress that they have um, other plans in the middleweight division and you have to respect that uh, just like we have plans in the super middleweight division so you have to respect that I mean yes a fight that's talked about quite a bit by boxing fans but I think since it is being talked about, that both fighters deserve to have the world talk about the fight. So it doesn't make sense if it's being talked about now from boxing fans and then not have the whole world included. So I think uh, rightfully that uh, Golovkin and K2 should continue on with their journey and, you know, hopefully we'll get our train out of the station and at some point, you know, collide down the road when it really matters where both fighters can benefit there are no losers so that's that's how it should go how excited were you would you be for that potential fight does you as a trainer are you looking forward to that fight as well as much as these fans and critics are well of course i mean you know you want to fight the best and you want to go up as a coach you want to go up against the best so looking very much forward to when that day comes i believe it'll come i don't think it's on the near horizon, both men are young, um, sort of starting to enter their prime. So I, I think it is a fight maybe a year and a half, two years away, maybe maybe less, I don't know. But at some point, I'm, I imagine they'll fight.